was hired to be a prosecutor and a prosecutor's job is to prosecute people. She wants to continue to act as if she's the public defender. Harsh criticism for Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty. The family of a man killed in a deadly carjacking attempt, blasting a plea deal offered to one of the two armed assailants who were involved. Stephen Markey was killed four years ago, the man who fired the deadly shot, given nearly 22 years in prison. But his accomplice now looking at probation and time in the workhouse to transition back into society after four years in custody. Let's go live now to Fox 9's Paul Bloom at the courthouse tonight. And Paul, Stephen Markey's family is outraged. They are, Karen and Rob. You know what? The Hennepin County attorney believes that Hussein Braveheart, the now 20-year-old defendant in this case, has shown enough while in custody that it is now time to start transitioning him back into society, and that is in the best interest of public safety. Well, Stephen Markey's loved ones came to this courthouse today. They absolutely disagree. They feel this plea agreement is a slap in the face. They begged the judge to reject it. It just shows how little justice seems to care about victims. Kristen Derristori always comes to this spot here in northeast Minneapolis on her cousin's birthday. He just made everybody feel so comfortable. This is where Stephen Markey was killed during an attempted carjacking June 11, 2019, in the shadows of the train tracks he so enjoyed. Markey would have turned 44 Thursday. Kristen brought a cupcake and cake pop. Steve loved trains and... Every time one goes by when I'm here, I just know it's a message from him. The Markey family still reeling from what happened to him. Now tell me they are being re-victimized by the justice system and specifically the Hennepin County Attorney's Office. While the teen who killed Markey received nearly 22 years in prison, his armed accomplice, Hussein Braveheart, was offered a plea deal of probation and some workhouse transition time after spending four years in custody. Stephen's sister believes it is a completely inappropriate offer given Braveheart's criminal history and the fact he, too, admitted firing during the encounter. Do you care if someone shoots someone you love who shot first or how much? Because I can tell you it's excruciatingly painful to me to be told that one shot at my brother didn't matter and the other one did. So sending him to prison, uh, based on everything we know, will create more trauma um, and make him likely to be more dangerous when he gets out. County Attorney Mary Moriarty has explained Braveheart was just shy of his 16th birthday at the time and while in custody has flourished, completing a pair of intense treatment programs. She believes society is better served with a smooth transition home with a 20-plus year prison sentence hanging over his head during a five-year probation period should he fail. The Markies disgusted. And I think that it's an absolute outrage and it's devastating to my family. And you may remember earlier this year, the governor and attorney general actually stepped in and took over a prior case from the Hennepin County attorney when she had made a plea deal with a teen gunman. Again, a separate case, but the Markies made clear today they certainly would welcome that type of intervention at this point. Meantime, as for this Braveheart plea deal on aiding and abetting second-degree murder, the judge did set sentencing for October, but he still has until then to decide whether to accept or reject this offer. We're live in downtown Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.